Okay guys, this is awful lighting and I look terrible, but oh my god, a few weeks ago I went to a garage sale and got a bunch of shoes. The guy just reached out saying he's, oh my gosh, I'm even brag, saying he's liquidating everything for $150. He has 60 pairs of shoes. He has like Timberland and other brands he sent me a list of. Uh, so I'm gonna go pick him up now and pay him and I'll do a haul and let's see what happens, guys. Or let's see what, I know what's gonna happen, but let's see what I find or what I get. Oh my god, guys, so I just got all of this shit. My trunk is full, all of this. He said around 60 pairs. It's $2 and something per pair. Okay, so, and this is a contact that I have from a garage sale, so tell people what you do. Okay, I'm gonna go home and show you everything. Let's go. This is all the stuff I just brought back. He said 60 pairs of shoes. So I looked through a little bit, but I saw most of these shoes at the garage sale a few weeks ago when I went. So I'm gonna sit down and show you guys some of them, okay? Or try and do all of them, but it might be a long video. But let's see, it's like $2 and something per pair. There's some pairs I wouldn't usually pick up, some brands, um, but I could at least make $10 on them, you know what I mean? So let's see, I'm gonna make a spreadsheet for this whole bulk buy and see how much I can make and then follow back with you guys in like a month to see what, you know, has sold, so. Stay tuned. So I am going to, excuse my messy apartment if you can see anything, it's a wreck. I turned up the ISO, hopefully that doesn't make it less quality, but that's the vibe. And that's where I do my whatnot shows over there, so it's a mess. So these, a lot of them are new in box. These are J. Vincent shoes, J. Vincent. Comment below if you've heard any of these brands that I haven't heard of. And some of them are worn, some of them are new, some of them are all right condition. So these are all right, they're patent leather pumps, but the inside is a little cracked on the bottom. Um, so off the bat, I would say I might, like, the dust bag is in there too, so they must be a little bit expensive. Um, I have to do research on them, but overall I would say either on whatnot or just donate and sell the higher price shoes. But let's see, I'm not making any decisions yet. These are Antonio Milani new in box. I wouldn't pick these up at the thrift. This might all be a disaster, but we'll see. I'm excited for the boots. And the two shoes right here are going to pay for the entire thing. If they sell, like, for what I think. So these are Antonio Milani. There's wear on the inside. Not great. So I might just donate those as well. Or whatever I'm not going to vibe with, I'm just going to send a thread up. Because one of my reseller friends is loving thread up. So so the discount price on this was $130. What was the original? I can't peel it off because it's going to rip it. But these are Tony Pons. T-O-N-I-P-O-N-S. New in box. Hopefully these are in good condition. Oh, they're new. Brand new. They even have the tag from the yard sale when you first had it. So they're an espadrille wedge, brand new on the bottom. They're Tony Pons, and that's the logo. Um, and I looked these up because he put this brand in the text, and they're like some for over hundreds of dollars. So that's cool. And if you want to know sizing on any of these, just comment below and I can respond to comments. I'm going to try and get through these quickly-ish. Another pair of the Tony Pons shoes. These look like they could be the same thing in a different color. It looks like a bigger size, though. Oh, no way, I needed these. Nordstrom wooden shoe form things. Shoe trees, that's what they're called, I think. Um, now I have them, perfect. Sick, okay, cool. And that's gonna be great to photograph with. I have the plastic thin ones that don't look great right now. They're new. <laughs> they're new in box, so that's what they kinda look like. The vibe. I'm excited for that brand, because I saw the, but also remember guys, and those are also $130 too. Also remember, retail value doesn't mean it's gonna be good resale, but like most of the time if it's over $100, then like it will most likely. Oh, these are really cringe, because Guess has cringe everything now. Old Guess. Um, the gold is worn off on the sole. You can see it used to be gold, and now it's black, or the vice versa, or it's ombre. Um, but they look to be in pretty good condition besides that. This is the same shoe in black. Okay, let's move on from these. That was one bag, so there was one, two, three, four, five, six new in box, or like in box, not new, but like they were in the original box. These are brand new, and they're stuffed with paper. These are Universal Thread. He was charging 20 at the yard sale, but I got them for two something. So Universal Thread, I'll probably say either, they're in perfect condition, brand new. I'll probably either send these into Thread Up or um, sell them on whatnot, or try to sell them on whatnot. I'm not gonna like sell junk on whatnot, but these aren't junk, they're like in perfect condition, and they're really cute. They're just not like a high-end brand. They're a basic though, a staple. That's so cool. Like it's like a green like suede snake print gold vibe. Uh, it's for sure not actual cork, it's faux cork. I think it's like wrapped and the brand is Amanda. Tell me if you know what this is. And like everything I say, tell me if you know. That might be like a boutique brand or whatever. This seems like shit, but um, it seems like again, like a cheapy like boutique. S-O-F, wear, software. 
I don't know if you can like vibe with it or see it, but I'm excited for the boots and Timberlands and everything. And if they're not in here, I'm gonna burn his house down. Okay, these are in perfect condition. I'm happy with these. These are naturalizer, and a lot of flight attendants wear these, but they're in, they're like beautiful. Like for this brand, I'm shook. <laughs> and they're known for comfort wear, and there's like no flaws. Amazing suede upper, and yeah, they're really like nice. And I'll find the sizes and everything later. If you guys want to know, comment, and I'll let you know the sizes. And after I go through all these, I'm gonna count to see if he was correct in there being 60. These are truly awful. I hate this brand. This is so tacky. And this is Gianni Bini. Bini? Bini? Gianni Bini? I don't know how to say it. Um, and these are like a snakeskin, sickening disgustingness. Also, if you think these are cute, or buy them and let me know. And probably I shouldn't say my product is ugly, but um, they're mild wear, but overall they're in really good condition. Um, they're gorgeous. They're an eight and a half. Um, but yeah, so that's that. But I see people selling that brand a lot, so it makes me think do people actually like search it out or like seek it out for the vibe. Oh, these are so cute. Amazing condition too. They're mild wear, but so 90s. These are like woven Bottega Veneta vibes, like that woven right there. And they're Ralph Lauren sandals. And they're a really smaller size, but I'm not mad at these. They're genuine leather. They're adorable. These are so cute with like a little heel. I don't know if that's called a kitten heel. I think it is. Okay, and they're in a Ziploc bag. I just needed one of these for my for my food, so I'll use this one. No, I'm kidding. I would never. So these are suede pumps by Adrian Vitadini. And if they weren't in great condition, I'd be pissed. But, I mean, this brand's whatever. I'll send them as a thread up. But the condition, I'm gonna make more than $2 on them. Even if I make five, I'm happy. Um, okay, and these are a bigger size. Next shoe. These are so cute. And I've heard of this brand from McThripsy. I think she said she liked selling this brand. This is Matisse. And these are full wooden. These are all wood. And they're so Y2K and adorable. I love these. Like the brand doesn't really matter, but I think these could at least sell for 20 bucks. I mean, made in India, genuine leather. Oh, so this must be a leather upper with like beads. The, it took a lot of detail and jewels. Um, leather sole, which makes no sense because how are these leather? Maybe there's leather on top of the wood. I'm confused. I'm gonna Google lens the shit out of these. Okay, these are Dollhouse, which I think is BS, but these are Y2K clog vibes with the little details. So I think these will sell well at Depop or Mercari. They're just a random brand. Handmade Materials, Cloggy42 is the name. And Dollhouse, that's what it is. It must be like a boutique. Please tell me, guys, if you know of any of these brands or like if you know of them. This is Apostrophe. Is this like a Nordstrom House brand? I've seen clothes by them, but it's really pretty, the embroidery. So I will say that. They're like a more mature shoe with a squarish toe. They're mules, slide-ons, apostrophe. If you've seen that, there's clothing by them. And they feel really good quality. So, I mean, again, Thread Up is gonna have a lot of these. And I, I have a feeling I'm gonna make my 150 back on like a few pairs that I haven't seen yet. Because I remember seeing like really good boots. At, oh my God, look how much is left. Guys, we're gonna definitely make a profit. But we just haven't seen any amazing ones yet or great ones. Oh, these are great. Like, cleats do... Why did I say these are great? Cleats do really good. These are in perfect condition. Leather, bigger men's size. Size 10. These look bigger than the 10. I'm a 10. And there's cleats on the bottom. And these are brown leather Adidas cleats. These are floor sheen. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But these sell really well. I've sold pairs of these for upwards of, like, towards, like, $100. Amazing quality. Genuine leather and wooden sole or whatever. And that's the... That's the vibe. That's the brand. It says eight dollars on the bottom in Sharpie. I'll probably just leave it. So, honestly, am I the only one that leaves those and doesn't care what people think? If they buy it, they buy it. If they think I got it for that, I'll just say it's my inventory number from my warehouse. That's my excuse. And then every time I said that, only someone's asked like once, and it was where it worked. It was fine. Okay, Echo. This is a great brand to sell. I sold a pair of Echo leather shoes for like sixty bucks recently. This has no soles in them, but it's not really that big of an issue. Ew, gross. Ew. There's like thick dirt on the bottom of those, so I'm gonna clean those up and I'm leaving them in the bag. Ew, I feel it on my hand. But those are not bad shoes, but I just need to clean them. These feel fluffy, what are these? These kind of feel like all birds. These are Toms. Okay, a huge men's size, but it's not huge if you're this size, like you're normal. 
Um, I hopefully this video is not boring. I feel like I'm just chilling with you guys. I usually try to put on a show, but I'm like chilling and just very like low key. So this is 11 and a half men's, amazing condition, like fabric, stretchy upper, kind of feels like suede-ish, but this is actual suede on the back and leather, says Tom's. And these are in amazing conditions, like almost like new. Maybe someone like wore them in the store or something. And these are gonna do great. So yes, yay, bitch. We love. This next pair is New Melons Walking. These always do really well. And they're a really way bigger size, like a 15. So I can actually say that's a huge size. And if you know, if you're a 15, you know that's a, you know you have a huge foot. Um, so this is that. It's a leather New Balance comfort walking shoe. Walking comfort shoes I've sold for like 60, 70, 80. Damn it. The back of this here is all fucked up. It's like in and like squished down the padding inside. So I'm gonna probably just donate these. Okay, next shoe. Oh my God, more shoe treats. These are gorgeous. They're a darker brown. They're not as red. You can see on camera. These are Johnson and Murphy. These are stunning. They're like vintage, really like nice quality patent leather and the horse bit. I think that's what it's called at the front and more shoe trees. Oh my God, how do you get this out? That looks inappropriate. Um, so more shoe trees, guys. That's great. It smells vintage. And these are amazing. I love these. I wanna, I wanna wear them. What size are they? So these are hideous. I almost bought these because they look like kind of like cloggy and like Crocsy. It's like leather Crocs. That's the vibe. I don't know if you, it's like overexposed. But the brand on these is P-R-O-P-E-T, Propet, Propet. And they're like a comfort shoe as well. And you're not gonna be able to see this because it's so white and the light is so like high. But um, these feel really nice quality. I mean, they're ugly, but they seem like they'll sell. Oh my God, I'm so overwhelmed. We have so much shit left. So this is the bag I saw, it could be good. This is Rockport, which reminds me of like Vibram. These are comfort shoes as well. It's like Rock Sports Pro Walkers. That's what they're called from Rockport. Engineered by Rockport. And they're a leather nice, just like, they look like grandma vintage shoes, like nurse shoes, but I know those will do well. Then I have rock ports as well in a different color, cream. Imagine if like it just got darker over age. No, but this is like a cream leather with like a back that's like a green detail. And there, I love doing um, comfort shoes on eBay because they always do so well. Do you guys like this chill version of me? This is me after I worked all day and I'm kind of tired. <laughs> or do you like my hyperness? Oh, these are great. So rock port, yeah, I've never seen rock ports like these. These are brand new. Like maybe worn in the store, like I said, but they're like brand new. These are like Keen vibes and they're really good size, it looks like. That's 14, Jesus. And the good thing about bigger sizes is it might take longer to sell, but when you find the right buyer, they sell for a much higher price because they're more in demand because they're harder to find in those size. This is the walkability sandals. They kind of look like the fisherman vibe, like outdoor wear. Oh, I almost bought these too when I went. These are Foot Joy, and these are golf cleats. I think golf cleats, right? Yeah, and they're in great condition, a little bit of wear, but nothing major. And they're a leather Foot Joy golf cleat. Tell me if it's golf. I used to play golf as a kid, and I like did tournaments, and I like won tournaments. I was really good, but I'm, I'm terrible now. I haven't played in like 10 years. Um, I forgot all the stuff and like form and everything, but I remember being really good. Maybe other people would disagree, but I think I was. And then this is the other golf cleat. If you want to know sizes of any of this, or if you're interested in purchasing any of this, let me know. I'll give you an incredible deal. I'm super transparent with you guys. Like, I paid $2 something per shoe, if they're 60. Um, but I'll give you an amazing deal as long as I don't lose money. You know what I mean? I think these are going to be the boots. I'm so excited. So these are A-E-T-R-E-X, Atrex. And they are like look like a big work shoe, a men's work shoe. And like, again, these things do so well. This is a 15 wide, so that's great. So that's these. They kind of look like chunky Doc Martin work shoes, but uglier. <laughs> I've sold these exact shoes, these Vibram like Brogue. Is it called Brogues when it's like dots and like embroidery and cutouts there? Um, these are Dre Sports by Rockport. Vibram Sole, which is great. And these are like a comfort shoe, but look like a dress shoe. That's amazing. These are really nice as well. Really thick quality, like the other Johnson & Murphy ones. I'm like... And everything looks a little lighter than it is in person on camera. I think Royal Swordsman or something. He texted me this name and I looked it up and I couldn't find a comp. These are like real Italian shoes. This is the, um, so it's the same Swordsman brand, but there's one in brown, one in black. And they're like alligator or snake. Is that alligator? I feel like alligator or snake. I think alligator. Embossed design. It's not like alligator skin, but it's like embossed on the leather, that print. So this is the other matching one. This is the black matching one for that. 
Okay, I'm gonna scoot back a little bit so I have room to put more. Sorry if I look crazy. I'm only wearing underwear, just kidding. I'm wearing shorts. Oh, there's Skechers in here. Skechers sell really well. Like, I've sold the Skechers for $100, depending on what they are. And these are memory foam designed in Los Angeles. Skechers Cali in box. Hopefully they're new. And they're brand new with the sticker. Yay! And they're a small size, but they're like cloudy and like Tempur-Pedic. Oh my god, look. They're like Tempur-Pedic. Can you see that? Um, Skechers, and it's pretty cute. It's like a little, I don't know if it's faux leather, but it's like gold metallic leather with like a bejeweled rhinestone strap. These are a tiny size, and this is a size five and a half women's. My sister's a size six, my twin sister. Isn't that crazy? It's so small. And if you guys are interested, I think I have like a size, I think it's a size six or five and a half. Jimmy Choo sandals, like vintage Jimmy Choo leather gold sandals. If you guys are interested in purchasing, I'll give a great deal as well. Call out what I have. So these are awful. <laughs> these are BCBG girls, like BCB generation, I think, or BCBG Max Azaria. Max Azaria. <laughs> I think it's the same company, but these are just flats. They look like they've been worn a few times, but nothing crazy. I'll list them for five dollars. <laughs> so I'll probably do those on my whatnot or send those to thread up. Does thread up take take kids items? I think they do. It's so annoying how thread up doesn't take men's though. Like I have so much men shit that I want to get rid of that I don't want to sell myself. But this is gonna challenge me to list stuff that I wouldn't usually list myself and see how they do, so I'm excited. I'm doing this for the YouTube. I mean like, oh these are kinda cool. These are Sporto waterproof. These feel quality and they're really nice. Watch them be like $3 and you guys are laughing at me right now. But they they feel like real leather and Sherpa or like shearling. Leather upper. So yeah, it says eight and a half. Eight and a half M. So I thought it was eight and a half men's. I'm like, oh my God. Um, but yeah, this is the logo. If you want to see in the vibe and the soul and the life and the love. And they're brand new in the box with the tissue paper. So these are the Daria shoe. I'm gonna kind of power through these and the rest of these because I just want to go quick. There's so much shit. I didn't realize how many 60 was. So this one is Pleaser. Are these the stripper heels that I saw at the garage sale? These are the stripper heels, motherfucker. <laughs> ah! Holy crap. And it has a martini glass on it. It's like plastic and fake patent leather. It's for sure just plastic and patent leather. Is patent leather fake leather or is it just called patent? Cause it's like, these are from the brand Pleaser. It looks like they were bought from a sex store. So if anybody wants this vibe, and it comes with extra rhinestones in case one falls off, and they have a dust bag. So there's stripper heels in here. I paid like two something for them, so fuck me. These are these feel really cheap, and they're Franco Sardo. I'm probably just gonna get rid of these as well. I don't know, unless you want cheap shoes. So that bag was a bust. But I mean, these aren't great. Like I wouldn't pick these up on my own, except for like. If I look up some of those dress shoes and they're expensive, I would have picked those up because I run comps in store. But, um, and like the Sporto ones and the Comfort ones I would have picked up. So when I run comps, I hope that it's worth it, this buy. I just excited to do a buy so I can put it on my YouTube. These are so adorable. These are Alfani and they're in amazing condition. They're like a little floral print with a leather pink bow. I don't know if the real leather will look. Let's see, Mateo. So it is leather outsole. Yeah, so it's a leather, that's a leather. And this is like fabric, and it's like a really cool pastel watercolory floral. These retail for $110, and they were marked down to 38 I wonder if I'm gonna find any um, mismatch, like a box that says French Connection and different brand shoes. These are really cute. Even though they're French Connection, I don't really know that brand, I've never sold it. I know Peruvian Connection. These are leather, they feel real leather, and they're like perforated laser cut strap on the top. And they're like a slip slip on sandal heel vibe. And these are, yeah, they look really good quality. And wow, I'm shook. They're a size 10. That's a great size for women's shoes to sell. I feel like seven to 10 is my favorite sizing to sell for women that sells the best. And men's shoes, the best is like a nine to an 11, you know? Patricia, Patricia with a Z. Patricia by Springstep. I've heard of this brand, but I'm not sure from who. And these are the Ginny shoe. These are ridiculous, but I love them. So these are another cork, these feel like real cork. Um, wedge, sandal, sling back with an adjustable buckle. And these are all like blue sequins. And they're yellow box. So I'm pretty sure they're not even Patricia and they're in the wrong box. I was just saying this. Patricia by Springstep and why does it say yellow box? Can somebody tell me? Maybe it's just a similar shoe that was in here. I just know Springstep is like an actual brand, right? So I don't know. That's a vibe that I don't want to mess with. BB, this is like the Y2K 90s box. I love this. 
Oh my god, I was gonna say I love this and then look at it being like, ew. But actually, I fucking love these because these are like 90s, bro. These are like throwback Y2K. I'm selling these myself. These are all wooden. It's all wood, like cloggy vibes with a heel. It did the heel break off, imagine. I break it off. <laughs> and look how 90s those are. Oh my god, a little metal emblem that says a B. It's BB. These are so cute. Like, cute in like an ugly way, but like a throwback nostalgic little cell way. You know what I mean? Jelly Bean Queen. Look, oh my god, they're like Foxy Cleopatra in um, Austin Powers vibe, 70s prints. I'm obsessed. So I do like those, those are so fun. And they're the pink, silver, Paris print on satin, so it's an eight and a half women's. Um, these are patent leather disgustingness, um, and yes, I hate this brand. I'm not even gonna give it a time of day. Who sells Jessica Simpson? I don't wanna offend anyone, but I personally do not want it. This is Antonio Milani. Oh, these look brand new. Like, the good thing is, even if I don't like a shoe and it looks brand new, that's fine, I'll sell it. Antonio Milani. Oh, my, my battery's almost dead. So I might have to make this two videos. Okay, guys, well, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'm gonna do a part two of this. Thank you, I love you, and um, follow me on Instagram, everything. Bye. Oh my gosh, it's gonna die. It's, it's beeping or whatever. Bye, guys. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll put out the next video. It's gonna be part two of this. Bye, guys. Tell me if this is good or bad. Uh.